Hello friends, this is Dr. Rajiv Dhawan, Dan's ENT faculty. I am here to discuss two questions which came in AIMS paper, July 2020 session. The first question was, identify the given prosthesis used in post laryngectomy patient. They have shown you a device and in the image and the choices are electrolarynx, artificial larynx, tracheoesophageal puncture device or the last choice is esophageal speech device. First of all, let's see what we have seen in the image. So this patient has undergone total laryngectomy. After total laryngectomy, we make permanent tracheostomy. So you are seeing the hole which represents the, cir the circular thing, represents what? The permanent tracheostomy opening. And through that, you are seeing a device is jetting out, which is sticking onto the posterior wall of the trachea. So the answer of this question is tracheoesophageal puncture device, TEP device. So what are TEP devices? TEP devices are these, it is it is actually a unidirectional well which is surgically placed between trachea and esophagus. What is the use of this device? It is used for vocal rehabilitation after total laryngectomy has been done. Now how does it work? It is a single direction well. So it allows the flow of air from trachea to esophagus and that air is ultimately used to produce sound. There are many types of EP devices available. The more common ones are Blomsinger prosthesis, Panje prosthesis and Provokes prosthesis. Regarding other choices in this question, the A and cho B choice, electrolarynx and artificial larynx are one and the same thing. This device is also used for producing sound after total laryngectomy has been done. But it is an external device. It is not internal device. It is external device. It is a battery operated handheld vibrator which you actually touch just below your mandible in the floor of the mouth area actually. So this conveys the vibration to floor of the mouth which are ultimately used to produce sound. Okay. So the correct answer of this question is tracheoesophageal puncture device. Okay. And the second question which they asked in um, uh, ENT, they asked that identify the cell on the CT scan. Now first of all, let's identify it is a CT scan of paranasal sinuses. It is axial section. Okay, you can see two orbits. Between the two orbits, you are seeing ethmoid bone and ethmoid bone has got many air cells. Now ethmoid air cells are categorized into anterior ethmoid air cell group and posterior ethmoid air cell group. And the out of anterior ethmoid air cell, the most anterior cell is called agarnezai. So the answer of this question is agarnezai. Why? Again see, between the two orbits, there is ethmoid bone. In the ethmoid bone, you are seeing many air cells. And the most anterior cell of the anterior ethmoid air cell group is called agarnezai. agarnezai. Okay? Other choices were like, you know, Heller cell. Now, what is Heller cell? The Heller cell, see the cell on the CT scan now. Now, Heller cell is an anatomical variation. It is seen in some people only. It's a variation of the anterior ethmoid air cell group. Now, Heller cell is found in the floor of the orbit. I repeat, Heller cell is an anatomical variation, means it is seen in some people only. It's a variation of the anterior ethmoid air cell group. And the location of the Heller cell is in the floor of the orbit. Okay. Thank you very much. God bless you. May God bless you with a very good score and keep learning.